Esther chapter 2 verse 14. God sent me a message to prayer ground today to tell all prayer ground members that when God says it's your turn, when God says it's your turn, when God says it's your turn, I find out that there are too many persons here that men have disturbed you for a very long time. No matter what you struggle, you don't pass the limit a man gives to you. But here I am hearing it very clearly that I, the Lord Almighty, I have said it's your turn. And when God is for you, who will be against you? Get ready. You want to blow. They will only jealous you, but they will not kill you. When it will happen. Are you ready to receive it? Get it in the name of Jesus. When God says it's your turn. When God says it's your turn. Anyone that have gone, allow you to go. It's not your own. Your own is coming now. This is the time that has been approved. Any man that stands against it will be pushed down. And hear me. Any blessing that fits me cannot be shared. My own is my own. My blessing is not your size. I don't know if you understand me. And any man that is deliberating with your own to hand over your own, today we cut off the hand of that man. Nobody will temper with my own. When God says it's my turn. God's recommendation cannot be compared with man's appointment. May God recommend you. Nobody on earth will stand against it. And Bible says in Esther chapter 2 verse 15 that when the turn of Esther come, when the turn of Esther come, Esther has been in a land. He doesn't have a father, doesn't have a mother. He stayed with an uncle called Mordecai. And Bible said that they call for pageant. But about how many girls went there? 14 girls plus Esther 15. Everybody were in the camp for about how many years? For about how many months? One year. Six months for changing of the skin. Six months for maintaining one order. Esther was not among them. Reason is because he was not having a preliminary things that she can use in changing her body. She was so poor that poor people were calling Esther poor. Hear me? Your background is not an obstacle to where God wants to take you to. No matter how many years you have been there, when God take your fire, nobody will hold you. Ha, somebody say, it's my turn. It's my turn. Take it with anger. Say, today is my turn. Today is my turn. I don't care to know how many persons have laughed against you or laughed for you or laughed you. Come and be, let me see now. Come and do this, let me see now. It happened because your turn has not come. Education is not a barrier to God's appointment. Esther was not having background, but his back was not on the ground. You that you're complaining that you don't have father, you don't have mother, you have a father in heaven that can take you from the mess of men. Hear me. Time is coming when men will celebrate you because your father in heaven has stand for you. After when the people have finished their trading for one year because of Mordecai, Esther sneak in. 14 persons walk and meet the king and come back. The king was not finding favor in anybody. And when Esther reached there, the king stood up. I don't know if you understand me. But before this happened, there was a wife of the king called Vashti. Vashti make an error and the error is only one error. The king married Vashti for two reasons. One, he was, she was so beautiful. Two, she knows how to dance. That day when the whole people came to visit Vashti, to visit the king. The king called Vashti to come and dance. Vashti refused to dance. Hear me? There is somebody sitting on your throne somewhere that will make a mistake that will make you take your position. You don't hear me? Every man on earth has a position. And too many are occupying another person's position. In good way and in wrong way. I am here to tell you today that that person has taken what belongs to you for a very long time. And that is the law of Moses. From today, I'm speaking to people that have a violent mind. That after now, whatever belongs to your father, belongs to you, you shall take it back. Hear me? Anything that is designed for you, the devil cannot take it from you forever. 
There is a position meant for you. And that is true. And men have been disturbing you. Is it a house? Is it an office? Is it a promotion? What is that? Who is that sitting on your throne? After today. You cannot be a slave to the man that's supposed to be a servant to you. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Shout a louder amen. amen. I am seeing 14 persons taking their position. Amen. Don't worry, you will see what will happen. 14. 14 persons. 14 persons. They are taking their position. Amen. Sitting in their rightful position. Amen. Any man that stands against you shall go down. Amen. Esther, turn, turn, Esther, upside down. Because his tongue come. Your tongue will turn everything around you. When a man's tongue comes, God does not look at your height. Beauty is not a barrier. Education is not a barrier. Nothing is qualification to God's tongue. When God's come to do anything, nobody owes him. I don't know if you understand me. Are you hearing me? If you're hearing me, say, I hear you. I hear you. What does it mean? When God says it's your tongue. There are only one thing that I have to define. I can't define God. God is beyond definition. How will I define him to be? He is the beginning and he is also an end. The youngest old man. The people of the days call him old. The people of the new call him old. He is having no end. From Genesis to Revelation, there is no one like him. I have not seen anyone alterating him. By, his, by the utterance of the word, everything was created. Let there be light and there was light. Let there be darkness, there was darkness. What will I say about God? He that had the key to fire and key to light. Key of fire, key to water. Moses, what do you have? Star. Star become a key. He opened the Red Sea and there was road. When they threw Misha Shedrach and Abednego inside the fire, he used the key of fire and stabilized the hotness of the fire. And they were moving in the fire, but they could not feel hot. I don't know if you're hearing me. They were moving in the fire, but they could not feel hot. And when the servant came, he said, even the people that carried these two person to go and throw in the fire, all of them died by the hotness of the fire. But the people that they threw in the fire, they were alive. They were moving forward, moving forward. The fire could succeed to burn all the chain from their leg. Fire just burned chain from their leg. And they were moving. And the servant said, I will, we threw three person in the fire. But now I can see the fourth person in the fire. And that the fourth person is the key that reduced the potency of the fire. And made the fire not to be hot. How will I define God? Will I define God like the lion? That when they throw down in the lion them, and he turned to be a bigger lion. And the lion that were in the den, they were playing with lion. They said, a bigger lion that come. The lions of the tribe of Judah. He that speaks and everything go down. Who will I define him? Is he the king of king? That when, the, when Esther wanted to go and meet the king, nobody meet the king. And the law of Persia said that you cannot meet the king. So the king used to marry wife. When the king marry wife, he see the wife once in a year. The king sees the wife once in a year. If the king need you, he will stretch up his uh, staff. And if the staff meets you like this, then the king wants you to come. Then if the king does not want you, and you go and he stretch up the staff against the servant, they are going to kill you, even as a wife. And that is the reason why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, that the scepter of the wicked will never rest upon the righteous. Isaiah chapter 14, read it down. I think 3 and 5. Then if you see the book of Psalm again, he also repeat the word. That the scepter of the wicked will never rest upon the righteous. That is the scepter of the king. In Isaiah, he said, we break off the scepter of kings that they use for wickedness. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 5. Read it and you will see. Now, that day, should I describe the God that make Esther to move inside the king's palace without invitation? And kings move from the throne and come to Esther. He said, oh queen, live forever. What do you want me to do for you? Who have offended you? That God that break protocols. That God that makes tradition invalid. How will I define God? He that walks upon the water to break the law of everything. And he walks upon the water. What will I tell you? He that asks Peter, Peter, collect this fish. There is something inside. Open the mouth of the fish. Look inside. What do you see? He says, I see money. God that created ATM for the origin. Anything where they vomit money, not be ATM. I don't know if you understand me. How will I define God? He that turned to snake. 
He said, drop the staff. The staff turned to snake. He said, take it by the tail. He collected it. How will I define him? He is everything as, at everywhere. He makes everything to work in every place. And that is the God we have. So listen. He cannot reach you and come down. I don't know if you understand me. If you are here today and you have a low mentality about God, from today as you go high up, you are having a man by you, inside of you, around you, that no matter the plans of the enemy, they will never see you. Because he that is in you, is greater than he that is in him. Wow! Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. He said, when the enemy rise like a mighty flood, that the spirit of God, where? We do what? We raise a standard. 